Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, ninjas. I was supposed to ride this morning, but I couldn't because it was starting to rain and um, weather forecast says it's gonna be a stormy weather. So instead, today, we're just gonna do a first look on uh, additions I made to my bike. Uh, I already posted this on my Facebook page, pictures of it, but uh, we're gonna be doing a first look on the Shan E48 semi-rigid luggages and the corresponding bracket right there. To start off with, I uh, I got these uh, Shad bags from Motorcycles Planet in Jensan. They uh, kindly enough sold it to me and delivered it to me here via LBC and uh, the bracket I ended up having to order it uh, online from uh, Spain a website called Motor Motocard yeah it's like a Repsola of Europe or something and uh, it was the only website where I could find it uh, Repsola did not have this anymore Cycle Gear didn't have it JT Triumph here in the Philippines does not have it. They're the official Shad dealers here in the Philippines. And Motorcycle Planet does not have this anymore. This is a specific bike bracket for the Ninja 650 2019 for the semi rigid bags. The installation of this was well, pretty straightforward. The, the Ninja 650 and the Z650 specifically has these two. Uh, uh, screw holes here they're initially covered by a cap each on both sides of the bike and um, it's like they were meant for something like this you know for brackets I mean this is a sport touring bike after all and I uh, posted pictures of it online to my friends on Facebook and you know it's polarizing you know sport bike guys are like thinking what the hell did I do to my bike what uh, but it is really designed specifically to hold a bracket here for Ninja 650 in fact in Europe uh, they have a sport touring model of this bike which uses these two screw holes for mounting Kawasaki OEM brackets so yeah this is apparently rare nowadays uh, I managed to get a good deal off of Motocard in Spain and installation was really quick just remove the two caps and then follow the instructions and just screw them in and tighten them with an allen wrench there you go oh, you can see the other one yeah a focus anyway so enough talk uh, I'm gonna show you how it looks like on the bike And there you have it folks, quick easy installation, just takes a couple of minutes from the rear, the, from the right side, there you go, that's what it looks like, what I like about this is that they're light, much lighter than the, the ones I had on the, my former bike, the SH36, they're not too bulky very light these are currently empty right now I'm just picking them up with my fingers and they do come with rain covers basically installation on the bracket is pretty straightforward you just it comes in with these uh, velcro straps here you just uh, it slide it in and there's a pocket where the bracket goes into and then you uh, put the velcro over the bars on the metal bars and then you just strap it over you have the option of putting this strap underneath the seat 
but for today's demonstration purposes I'm just putting it outside so it's like that's pretty secure so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, that this can actually fit a full-size full-face helmet which I really like and I have pretty big head so I run a uh, normally an extra large helmet but in this case I'm going to demonstrate it with my Icon Armada but first before we do that we gotta unbuckle this bit unbuckle that bit so these are straps that you can probably like tie stuff onto like maybe a sleeping bag or a tan just strap it over like that tighten it down very useful so this bag the SH uh, the E48 actually expands to accommodate more stuff if you need it so here it expands just like that now we can open it up just like that and it comes with uh, a rain cover you cover it over the bag and now I'm gonna demonstrate that it actually can, it, that it can actually hold a full face helmet so and voila there you go c'est la vie so we can close the zip it's kind of hard to do with one hand Go, closing it. There you go. She's inside. Not too hard. And Icon Air Mod is pretty. It's a pretty big helmet to begin with. I run a double XL on the Icon Air Mod for some weird reason. Icon's helmets are not standard shaped. So yeah, there you go. This is just a first look on the uh, Shad E48s on the Ninja 650 uh, 2019 with the specific Shad uh, brackets for the Ninja 650 2019. And before I'd like to end this video, uh, shout out to the Epic Jazzer and to all the other guys I forgot to make shout outs to. Uh, yeah, if you want me to make shout outs on the next video I upload, just comment down below and uh, yeah hope you find this video useful because there's not many videos of this actually there's none at all there's no videos of the ninja 650 or the z650 with the shad specific bracket to hold the shad e48 semi-rigid bags and the shad sw42 waterproof bags make one more last look here on the front and that yeah no profile looking on the right there you go not too bad looking well, another thing the reason why I got these is because I'm gonna be doing cross-country travels between uh, here possibly back to Jensen and uh, Pampanga actually for flight school so and I, you know, I can't take the car because we're going to be fighting over the car. So I need to use a luggage system for the Ninja, specifically for the Ninja, to be able to carry my stuff for flight school and back. Because Pampanga, La Union is about five hours away. Furthermore, you can actually put a tank bag, uh, tail bag here. It fits. I tried it. Uh, I, had, I run a Nelson rig. Uh, commuter tail bag and it fits with the setup here so I hope you find this useful stay safe stay dry have a nice day my ninjas boom our dog is asleep